All right, fresh off that stage, it is Cleto right. at the Malibu Guitar Festival. How'd that feel? Great, man. We had a really good time. Oh, man. Steve Ferroni on drums. How'd you pull that one? Yeah, no, he's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> it's really fun playing with him. I, I've never played with him before, so it was fun. Is that right? No. Nope. That's incredible. T tell us about your band, how they all came together. How our band came together? Uh, I met Toshi and Jimmy Earl in a band called Cecilia and Will and the Wild Clams, and it was like a salsa oh, funk yeah, band. I remember that horn, band. Yeah. yeah. He used to so, play the baked potato. Yeah, that. we did, yeah. and that's where we all kind of met. Okay. And uh, um, a couple of the other guys, I just we we all kind of actually met through that band. Is that right? Yeah, we all went through that okay. band, and we just so made like a spinoff. Yeah, kind of. We yeah. formed other bands. We did like a alternative rock band. We had a funk band. Then my dad's in the band, so he just came in. That was Jimmy's idea. He was yeah. like, when he he asked me uh, how we were going to put this band together, and I said, well, you know, all my regular guys. He goes, how about your dad? Wouldn't that be cool? I'm like, yeah. So, so my dad plays with us too. So it's, we've awesome. all kind of met, you know, through that Cecilia yeah. band. Now, I know you and Jimmy go back. Talk about how you met and, you know, give us a little background on what kind of guy Jimmy is. Jimmy's the same guy I've met. I mean, I've known since I was 10. We, we were uh, 10 and 9. He moved from Brooklyn. Uh, and I moved from the other side of Las Vegas. We moved, up, we moved on to the same in block Vegas? in Las Vegas. Yeah, we moved on to the same block. Like I said, I was ten, he was nine, and we just kind of became friends pretty quick. And we just been, you know, yeah. friends ever since. So you were doing your thing, kind of watching his progress, coming up in the ranks. And next thing you know, he's got the late night show. Yeah, I was. Yeah, he was. Uh... When I first got to town, he was still, I believe, in Tucson or Palm Springs, I forgot. And he got a job at K-Rock. Okay. So he came and stayed with me for a while. I was already in L.A. And uh, he, he started, you know, doing really great at K-Rock and then just kept moving up. And yeah, the main I was, show. And yeah, all that stuff. And I was doing, just, I was touring with different people and just trying to make a living as a musician, as yeah. we all do. And I, I was on the road with uh, Mark Anthony at the time. Yeah. And Jimmy calls me up and he's like, hey, man, I got this. I think I'm going to get this show on ABC. Do you want to be my band leader? And I was like, well, fuck yeah. I don't want to be <laughs> so got me off the road and we've been doing it, you know, I mean, knocking with 15 years now. And it's, wow. been, it's been a lot of fun. It's amazing. It's uh, been a great gig. Yeah, especially since we lost the Tonight Show to New York. You guys are the LA know, yeah, we're late night. Us and Conan, you know, but yeah, we're, yeah. we're it. So. No, I support. I know you guys have closed off Hollywood Boulevard a few times. A few times. Special events. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. You know, what is the uh, best things that you've learned from, from Jimmy, you know, as far as like staying humble and keeping your, well, there's you know, your that. team I mean, together? Staying humble and working hard. Jimmy works his ass off. I mean, he's he's not a talking head. He like, where he every bit, every joke, everything he's goes through him. Every bit of it. And it, yeah, he cares and he's really, you know, he's, it's his show. He wants to put out the best product. Yeah, and he's, yeah. Uh, yeah, he works very, very, very hard. And I, you know, I always like to tell people that because it's not yeah, like he just so sits around. And, yeah, dedication. He, he never quit since he was, you know, parking cars in his 20s to like where he is now. I mean, yeah. he's, you know. That's amazing stuff. Now, all that you've seen over the years and all the great artists that come through the show, what kind of advice can you give to those coming up that you've kind of learned from them? You just got to keep doing it, man. I mean, if you want, if you really want to be a musician or whatever you want to be, or whatever it is, you just got to keep keep going, keep going, never give up. I mean, I there was many times I wanted to go home, back to Vegas, and do other stuff and everything. I just never stopped. I just always knew I, I'd fall somewhere. I fall on my feet somewhere, and I didn't. You know, I can't tell everybody I have a best friend that's going to be a you know <laughs> a national television right. star, but you know, I, I was working and everything. I just think that you. If you if you do the work and you and you're prepared when that when whenever an opportunity comes you're able to to capitalize on it which I was thank God able to do with Jimmy you know that's awesome thanks so much for joining us and best of luck in all your endeavors thank you very much appreciate it thanks for having me.